Initially, how we started these negotiations, right, that we wanted to continue with the existing agreement, right? They wanted to move to a 60-40 value share so that we, we, we move away from this structure. So we decided, okay, we are fully prepared to go and look at the 60-40 um, formula so that we move away from this negative uh, conjecture. So we presented a proposal to the BSCFA achieving that objective. The, the main difference between our proposal and the BSCFAs is that when it comes to export direct consumption sugar, because they don't want a manufacturing allowance and to be sharing in that, uh, in that cost, right? Well then, all right, we take that, we, as we assume all the risks, all the shipping costs related to that, and we value that sugar as raw sugar, right? Same 60-40, right? But they've also rejected that. So we're now at the point where really, I think the BSCV keeps moving the goalposts. If BSCV will want to see, say for example, the, the invoices of the raw sugar shipments, right? What we, we sold. They can have that because the biggest component of that is the sales contract. What can't they have? What they want, if, if it is a matter of say they want to get involved in our operations and see what is our cost within the mill, then that's a step beyond the commercial agreement because then that is coming from our 35% share. But everything that's related to how we come up with a net trip value, that's, that's part of the equation and that's the commercial agreement stipulates what we need to provide. I think it's if anyone is interested to have a crop, we certainly don't want to uh, disadvantage farmers. We want farmers keen. And so where we just want to, 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 to work with um, all associations and, and try to have a successful crop for the upcoming year.